ओके बेटा असलम इट इज ऑडिबल आई थिंक नाउ यस सर यस सर ऑडिबल यस सर तो बेटा आई विल यू हैव क्लियर द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन और नॉट शुड आई रिपीट सर इट इज क्लियर सर इट इज क्लियर ओके सो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सब्जेक्ट नेम इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मीन्स द इक्विपमेंट we are dealing with the equipment that are dealing with the electronics part we are having a number of equipments that are dealing with the electronics part so we will do the electronics measurement basically from these two word i will explain you we will do the electronics measurement means we will deal with the ammeter we will deal with the voltage we will deal with the resistance we will measure the value of the capacitance we will measure the value of the inductance so we will use the different kind of instruments like a digital instruments or the analog instruments we are using the ammeter we are using the voltmeter we are using the different instruments okay so we are using the bridges in that so subject name is the we will perform the electronics measurement and with the help of the instrumentation so in this subject we will learn about the different instruments we were talking about the different instruments we are talking about the voltmeter we are talking about the ammeters we are talking about the bridges we are talking about the how to measure the value of the inductance how to measure the value of the capacitance so this subject is revolve around this electronics measurement and the different instruments we are using so this whole chapter is related with this one okay so your chapter is the syllabus if i am talking about your syllabus part so first section we are having a bridges that is having a like a source and detectors journal equation for bridge balance wheatstone bridge today we will start this first unit first section and in the first section we are talking about the bridges source and detector journal equation for bridge balance wheatstone bridge and its sensitivity analysis kelvin double bridge ac bridge applications and the condition for balance maxwell bridge shear bridge sharing bridge vein bridge and these are the different bridges we are study in this first unit okay second unit is the it is the journal theory of analog measuring instruments like we are measuring the analog as well as the digital signal to jo analog signal hoga that will be measured with the help of operating torque damping and controlling torque we are using we are using pointer and scales we are using different principles of different electromechanical indicating instruments pmmc instruments dynamometer so this section is related with the uh, this measuring instruments means analog measuring instrument we will study in the section 2 okay then we are having a third section that is the potentiometer in this unit we will study the two potentiometer basically ac potentiometer or the dc potentiometer okay it is a very easy chapter third unit it is only having the two uh, two uh, topics ac potentiometer and the dc potentiometer then we are having a fourth unit that is the magnetic measurement flux meter vh curve hysteresis loop iron loss measurement by watt meter and bridge method this we will covered in the magnetic measurement means we will study the magnetic measurement like a magnetic field in the magnetic field we are having a flux meter we are having a vh curve this is loop iron loss measurement by watt meter and the bridge method then we are having a transducers in the transducer we will study the introduction classification and electrical transducer type of transducer for measurement displacement strain vibrations we are study these different kind of transducers transducers basically what are the transducers transducers are the 
devices which convert the non electrical quantity into the electrical quantity so in this fourth unit or the fourth section we will study the type of different transducers which are used to measure the value of displacement strain vibration pressure flow temperature force liquid level humidity so these transducer we are covered in the fourth unit so your syllabus is broadly classified into the four units and uh, these four units are very easy and it is a numerical plus theoretical subject and uh, in addition to your uh, theory part this subject is also having a lab part also so your lab uh, Uh, will be taken by mr atul mahajan i think atul mahajan sir and uh, they will uh, study you this lab uh, the, the lab was taken by the mr atul mahajan sir so your lab is basically divided into a two parts this part is the section a and the second one we are having a, that is the section b okay so again your lab is divided into the two parts section a part and the section b part so section a we are having a total five experiments in that and the section b it is basically section b is consist of the number of uh, projects we are having to construct the various bridges like wheatstone bridge calvin bridge so in the part b students uh, in the group of two or three students will make a project uh, Uh, depending upon the like uh, the experiment they have done in the laboratory depending upon that experiment student will make a mini projects in this lab they will make a mini projects on the basis of the uh, experiments they have learned in the part a and uh, part b included a mini project and in each lab you have to prepare uh, your uh, each projects okay beta so this is the your lab sub, the code of the lab is the ac double is 16307 it was uh, taken by mr atul mahajan sir so next uh, uh, we are having a topic we will start the first unit that is the wheatstone bridge so first of all i will explain you the wheatstone bridge the wheatstone bridge is the basic bridge that is used to measure the value of the dc resistance okay so coming toward the beta uh, this part unit number first जाहिद हेलो जाहिद का हो गया भाई
ओए असलम क्या हुआ वो पावर सेट कट गया था क्या हेलो ओके स्टूडेंट्स वी विल स्टार्ट द टॉपिक so first of all we will start the or uh, unit first that is the bridge okay or we can call that as the bridges okay the first unit is the bridges so measurement of impedance of any circuit deal with the measurement of resistance inductance or the capacitance so measurement of these components values have been done using the bridges so basically what we will do we will measure the impedance what we will do we will measure the impedance and what is the included in the impedance impedance included like the value of the r resistance value of the capacitors or value of the inductor okay so we will measure the value of the impedance impedance is basically denoted by the z and it is given by the resistor capacitor or the inductor okay so we will measure these impedance value of the resistance or value of the capacitor or the value of the inductance the circuit that deal with the values of these values resistance capacitor or inductor so these values are measured with the help of the bridges so these values value of the resistance capacitor or inductors or the values of z these we will measure with the help of the bridges so what is the bridges bridges is used to measure the value of the impedance that is the z z is depending upon the value of the resistance capacitor or the inductor or these values are measured by the help of the bridges okay this is the first point so bridges what are the bridges bridges are used to measure the value of the resistance wo resistance ki value we measure kar sakte hain it measures the value of the capacitance and it also measures the value of the inductance okay so this is the first point what are the bridges bridges ho gaya beta then we will talking about the how many types of bridges there are the types of bridges okay beta so what are the types of bridges we are having a two type of bridges basically first one is the ac bridge second one we are having a dc bridge we are having a two type of bridges basically first one is the ac bridge second one is the dc bridge so ac bridge jo hota hai basically the ac bridge is used to measure the value of the capacitor okay it is used to measure the value of the resistor inductor okay frequency okay so these ac bridge are used to measure the value of the capacitor resistor inductor frequency where are the dc bridge it is only measure the value of the resistance okay so first of all what are the bridges we in the first point we have discussed what are the bridges bridges are used to measure the value of the inductance second type uh, second point is the type of bridges we are having a two type of bridges ac bridge that is the ac bridge means in bridge which we will give the ac supply okay and the dc bridge the bridge to which we will give the dc supply so ac bridge is used to measure the value of the capacitor resistor inductor or the frequency means ac bridge is used to measure the value of these four dc bridge is used to measure the value of the resistance only so dc bridge is used to measure the value of the resistance only okay so why we are using the bridges hum bridges ko hi kyun use karte hain why we are using the bridges to measure the value of the capacitor inductor resistors or this one okay so there are the number of advantages of using the bridges 
हमारे पास क्या है वी आर हैविंग अ नंबर ऑफ एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग द ब्रिजेस ओके सो फर्स्ट एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग द ब्रिज इज द एक्यूरेसी इज हाई व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग द एक्यूरेसी इज हाई व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग द ब्रिजेस ओके जब भी हम ब्रिजेस को यूज करते हैं द एक्यूरेसी is high means when we are using the bridges and when we are measuring something with the help of bridges okay so that accuracy is high means we will measure the value of the resistance okay so we will getting the accurate value okay hamare paas kya aayegi we are getting the accurate value and we will measure with the help of the bridges okay we will measure the value of the capacitor it is also getting the accurate value okay means when we are using the bridges the accuracy of measuring the things is high in the case of the bridges the accuracy is very high okay so second point is the why we are using the bridges for the measurement of the, these things in fact we are having a number of instruments different devices why we are using this bridges for the measurement purpose okay so second point is the the accuracy of the bridges the accuracy of the bridges jo hoti hai that is directly proportional to the or we can say that the accuracy is directly proportional to the accuracy of the components so it is independent of the null detector we will study uh, in this lecture what is the null detector what is the source what is the detector in this one so first point is the accuracy of the bridge is it is directly proportional to the bridges component okay means uh, it is directly proportional to the bridges component means uh, the accuracy of the bridge of measuring the things either they are measuring the like a they are measuring the value of the capacitor they are measuring the value of the inductance or they measuring the value of the resistance so accuracy of the bridge of measuring the value of resistance capacitance or the inductance it is directly proportional to the value of the bridge component okay and it is independent of ये इंडिपेंडेंट होती है इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ नल डिटेक्टर ओके मींस द नल डिटेक्टर वी आर यूजिंग और द सोर्स व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग आइदर वी आर यूजिंग अ एसी सोर्स और आइदर वी आर यूजिंग अ डीसी सोर्स द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द ब्रिज इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द नल डिटेक्टर नल डिटेक्टर हम यूज करते हैं आइदर अ गैनोमीटर or uh, we are using the different type of uh, uh, like a uh, null detectors in the bridges so it is independent of the null detector and second one it is independent of the source we are using either we are using the ac source or the dc source it is also independent of the null detector or it is also independent of the source which we are using okay so these uh, three points are clear to everyone or not should i repeat aslam sir third 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 point repeat sir third point is the means when we are using the bridges okay bridges ko hum use karte hain the accuracy of the bridge it is depend it is directly proportional to the bridges component okay this i have told you in the second point the the accuracy of the bridge it is directly proportional to the bridge component means the component we are using in the bridges like capacitor inductor resistors okay that are the bridge components and it is independent of the null detector and the source okay ye null detector ke bhi independent hota hai aur source ke bhi independent hota hai null detector is the used in the bridges to show the deflection okay deflection of the current and the source means we are using the ac supply or we are using the dc supply we are using the different kind of source so basically bridge accuracy it is directly proportional to the bridge component means 
we component we are using the r comma c comma l it is directly proportional to these component and it is independent of the null detector and the source which we are using in the bridges okay so these two points accuracy is depend upon the bridge component and it is independent of the source and the null detector which we are using in the bridges part okay so third advantage of using this uh, like a bridges is that it is used to measurement the value of the frequency okay so third point is the it is perform the we will measure the measure the frequency okay we will measure the frequency with the help of bridges means uh, uh, we will measure the what is the input frequency what is the frequency that is coming in the circuits we we will measure that value of the frequency fourth advantage of using the bridges is that the balanced equation balanced equation of the bridge okay the balanced equation of the bridge jo hoti hai that is independent that does not depend upon the input voltage that does not depend upon the does not depend upon the input voltage okay when this is the point that we, uh, why we, i am discussing this point we are having a balanced equation of the bridge like you have studied the wheatstone bridge in which we will say that pq is equal to rs we are having derived these kind of equations in the wheatstone bridge so this is the balanced equation of the bridge we will write down these kind of bridges and in the next topic i will also write down this balanced equation of the bridges and this does not depend upon the input voltage means when we are writing this balanced equation of the bridge here we will not write down what is the input voltage we are given so these balanced equations are independent of the independent of the input voltage or we can say that it is independent of the source or detector we are using in the bridges source means ac source or dc source detector means we are using the different kind of detectors like we are using headphone as a detector we are using the galvanometer as a detector so we are using different detectors in the like in the bridges so these are the advantages why we are using bridges in our daily life why we are not using the other instruments as compared to the bridges in our daily life okay so these are the advantages of uh, bridges first one is the accuracy accuracy of the these instrument is very high second point we have discussed the accuracy is directly proportional to the uh, components of the uh, components of the bridges component and it is independent of the null detector and the it is also independent of the source we are using third point we have discussed it is used to measure the frequency value fourth one balanced equation of the bridge does not depend upon the source as well as on the detector okay so these are the advantages of using the bridges next uh, we are having a like a types of bridges okay so we are having a two type of bridges first one is the dc bridge second one we are having a ac bridge okay so first type is the dc bridge dc bridge is of only two type okay first one we are having a like a kelvin bridge okay then second type we are having like a wheatstone bridge okay this is the wheatstone bridge so two types of dc bridges are there first one is the kelvin bridge second one is the wheatstone bridge ac bridge type is of 
few types. First one we are having a Andreessen Bridge. Andreessen Bridge. Then we are having a Maxwell Bridge. Third type we are having a Shearing Bridge. So that is Maxwell or Maxwell? That is the Maxwell, M-A-X-W-E-L-L, -L, Maxwell Bridge, Maxwell Bridge. Okay, beta. Okay. Then we are having a, like a Hay Bridge, H-A-Y, Hay Bridge. Then we are having like a inductance comparison bridge or capacitance comparison bridge. Inductance. Uh, it is not visible. Either. Then we are fifth type is the inductance comparison bridge. And the sixth one is we are having a capacitance comparison bridge. I will write down bar here. Um, capacitance. Comparison bridge. Then fifth type is the inductance comparison bridge. So these are the types of the bridges. DC bridge is only of two types, Kelvin bridge or Wheatstone bridge. AC bridge is of six types. We are broadly classified it as six types. Andreessen bridge, Maxwell bridge, Shearing bridge, Hay bridge, inductance bridge, capacitance comparison bridge. Okay, beta? So today we will discuss this Wheatstone bridge. Okay. So first unit is the bridges. First of all, I will tell you the what are the bridges. Bridges is used to measure the value of the inductance um, uh, impedance that is having a value of resistance, capacitance, or the inductance. Second thing we will discuss the what are the types of two basic type of bridges, AC bridge or the DC bridge. Then third topic, we will discuss the what are the advantages of the bridges. Okay. We will discuss the advantages of the bridges and then types of AC bridge and the DC bridge. Kelvin bridge, Wheatstone bridge, capacitance bridge. In this chapter or in this unit, we will discuss now thoroughly. First, we will discuss the Wheatstone bridge, then Kelvin bridge, Anderson bridge, Maxwell, Shearing, Hay bridge, inductance bridge or the capacitance bridge. In this chapter, we will discuss these bridges. And the in your final paper or in your MSTs, it is ensured that if you will cover this chapter, you will getting the maximum marks. I think uh, in the final exam, 15 or the 20 marks paper come from this unit, okay? And uh, this unit is also having the numerical of bridges or uh, second thing, a directly question also came explain the Andreessen bridge, explain the Maxwell bridge, explain the shearing bridge in detail. Then you have to explain that bridge in detail. This thing is clear to everyone or not? Clear, sir. Or should I repeat? Yes, sir. What is the first unit? It is bridges. Bridges. What is bridges? Bridges is used to measure the value of the like uh, resistance, capacitance, inductance, frequency. We will measure these values. Then, uh, like uh, we will discuss what are the two type of bridges, AC bridges or the DC bridge. Then we will discuss the like uh, advantages of the bridges. Now we will move on the next topic, Wheatstone bridge. Should I start this Wheatstone bridge? Kindly answer this poll, Peter.
So it is uh, of uh, two type. Okay, beta. Uh, bridges are of two type. First one is the AC bridge, and second one is the DC bridge. Okay, beta. So, better kindly answer this poll also. Hello, sir. Anji, beta. Sir, second poll, sir, nahi show the name. Abhi aaye, wait. Network Aaj issue is there. आगे बेटा यस सर यस सर सो कैलविन ब्रिज इज अ एसी ब्रिज डीसी ब्रिज बोथ ए एंड बी आर मेन ऑफ द एम Only thirty seconds left, brother. So now, beta, we are having a Wheatstone Bridge. The it is Wheatstone Bridge was invented in the 1833 by the Samuel Hunter Hunter person, later named after the Sir Charles Wheatstone for his many application of the circuit through the 1840s. Okay, first of all, it was invented by the Samuel Hunter. Then uh, the additions was done by the Sir Charles Wheatstones. They use this Wheatstone Bridge in the many application. Then the name was famous by his name, Charles Wheatstone. We will call this at the Wheatstone Bridge. So Wheatstone Bridge is used to measure the value of the resistance. Okay, beta. So next uh, we are having how does it work? Basically, Wheatstone Bridge. In the Wheatstone Bridge, we are having a four arms basically. So this on your screen, this one is the R1, R2, R3, and the R0. Okay. So we will measure. We are having the three known resistance and the fourth unknown resistance. So we will apply the. This is the DC bridge. We will apply the DC voltage between the uh, point. Okay, so we will null detector is apply between the point one and two. So 
battery is applied toward the negative terminal and the positive terminal then by changing the resistors or by changing the value of the resistance we will use the null detector and we will calculate the value of the fourth resistance that is the unknown resistance we will find the value of the unknown resistance this is the another diagram of the wheatstone bridge i will explain you the wheatstone bridge with the help of this diagram okay beta so kindly uh, see beta this diagram <coughs> i will explain you wheatstone bridge on the board beta so basically we are having a uh, i will draw here uh, like we are having a four arms this one this is the first resistance this is the second resistance this is the third this is the fourth one we are having a four resistance okay so we will apply this is the wheatstone bridge we will apply the dc supply here we will apply the dc supply here okay beta positive terminal as well as the negative terminal this is the v voltage okay so we are having a three resistance that value is the known and we will measure the value of the unknown resistance so this is my r r is my unknown resistance i will circle this r means we have to measure the value of the r is the unknown resistance then we are having a p q r is here and s these are the three known resistance means the value is known to me okay these three resistance values are known to me okay that is the p resistance q resistance or s resistance is there okay so we will called it as the arrow here mark arrow here what is the basic meaning of arrow here means this is the variable resistance okay so p and q is the ratio arm okay so this is my source basically okay source means i am applying the dc voltage here and here i will apply the galvanometer okay that means uh, this is the null detector basically null detector what is the basic function of the null detector this is the galvanometer will act as a null detector means it is showing the value of the current basically okay ye kya show karega it is showing the value of the current okay so when we are applying the voltage here the current will come and uh, suppose i1 some current will flow from here some current will flow from here because at this junction the current is divided into the two parts up one and the second one is the down one okay so we will say that i1 current flow from here i2 current flow to this side okay so when our bridge is balanced balanced means uh, we will write down the balanced bridge okay what is the meaning of this balanced bridge means we will measure the value of this unknown resistance when my bridge is the balanced so first of all try to understand what is the balanced bridge okay balanced bridge means when your galvanometer is showing the zero reading okay so at that point your bridge is the balance when galvanometer is showing the zero reading okay zero reading means null detection zero current okay this is the zero reading is showing okay so it is showing the null detection so what is the basic function here i1 current is flowing from here i2 current is flowing to here okay so when your galvanometer is bridge is balanced galvanometer is showing the zero reading then whole current i will pass from q 
and this I2 current will pass from the S. Okay, so we are having a like a VP voltage is equal to the Vs voltage. First of all, at this point, this is the VP voltage and this is the V R voltage. This is the same. VP voltage is equal to the V R voltage at the starting because I want current passing from here. I2 is passing from here. We will write down it is the I1 P is equal to I2 R. We are having this equation I1 P is equal to 2 R. Then we are having the V Q voltage is equal to V S voltage. That means I1 Q is equal to I2 S. Okay. So when I am dividing this equation first with the equation second, when I am dividing this equation first and the dividing with the equation second, we will getting the P upon Q is equal to, we are getting the equation P upon, we are writing P upon Q is equal to R upon S. And we have to find out the value of unknown resistance R. So R is equal to P upon Q into S. Okay. So we will write down it as like this one P S upon Q. This one P upon Q is called the ratio arm. This is also called the ratio arm. Okay. So Wheatstone bridge is used to find the value of the unknown resistance. This is the unknown resistance R by using this circuit diagram. Okay, this thing is clear to everyone or not? Should I repeat? No, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. It is clear to everyone? Hello? Sir, repeat Kardo Ekwari. Okay, but okay. Repeat Kare, sir. Okay. So, uh, diagram is clear to everyone. We are having the four arms yes, P, sir. Q, R, and S. R is over unknown resistance whose value we have to measure. S is over variable resistance whose value we will vary. Okay. So, first of all, we will vary the value of the S so that our galvanometer is showing the zero reading. We have to change the S value to the S galvanometer ki zero reading nahi a jati okay when our galvanometer is showing the zero reading then our bridge is the balanced okay tab hamare paas kya hota hai then our bridge is balanced then we will write down this equation okay so why, from where we are getting this equation p upon q is equal to r upon s so we will write down this vp voltage is equal to vr voltage okay VP voltage is equal to VR voltage. According to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. I1 and the value of the resistance is the P. I will write down I1 P. V is equal to IR by using Ohm's law. So VP is equal to I1 into P. Okay. Similarly, VR is equal to I2 into R. We are having second equation. This second part, VR. Then this voltage VQ voltage is equal to Vs voltage. VQ voltage is the current. Here it is flowing I1. Here current is flowing the I2. Okay. So we are having the I1 Q is equal to I2 S. So when we are dividing equation first and the equation second, we are getting this ratio P upon Q is equal to R upon S. Okay. So value of unknown resistance is equal to P upon Q into S. Okay, beta. So this is the value of the unknown resistance. So this P upon Q is also called the ratio arm. And this is the S is over variable resistance. So these values are given to us and we will find out the value of unknown resistance. Okay. R is basically unknown resistance. We will measure the value of the unknown resistance by using the help of this Wheatstone bridge. This is clear to everyone or not now? It's clear. Okay. Yes, one question. Clear, okay, beta. 100% clear, na? Yes, sir. Okay, beta. 
so that, why why listen to that why why we are having a, like a wheatstone bridge why we are having a, like a calvin bridge then means a wheatstone bridge is used to measure the value of the low value resistance okay low value resistance means we are having a resistance also three type of resistance low value resistance high value resistance or medium value resistance wheatstone bridge kya we are using the wheatstone bridge to measure the value of the low value resistance so low value resistance means low value resistance means its value is lesser than 1 ohm so wheatstone bridge is used to measure the value of the resistance which is having value less than 1 ohm then we are having a medium value resistance okay medium value resistance means the value of resistance from the 1 ohm to 0.1 mega ohm okay third kind we are having the high value resistance okay what is the high value resistance if the value of the resistance is more than 0.1 mega ohm that is called under high value resistance so we are having these three categories of the resistance low value resistance medium value resistance high value resistance so wheatstone bridge is used to measure the value of the low value resistance jiski value 1 ohm se kam hoti hai usko hum kiski help ke sath measure karte hain with the help of the wheatstone bridge okay beta so wheatstone bridge how we will measure that ki it is the sensitive uh, accurate or not means hum uh, differentiate kaise karte hain this is the better wheatstone bridge or not this is the good wheatstone bridge or not okay so we will um, uh, like a uh, differentiate the bridges with the parameter we are using that is the sensitivity of the bridge okay so we are having a uh, one more uh, like a uh, a definition that is the sensitivity sensitivity of the bridges wheatstone bridge so sensitivity is the deflection upon current deflection upon current okay so it is measured sensitivity is measured in mm per micro ampere okay so if i am talking about the daily life okay in real life i will say that the aslam is the more sensitive means the more sensitive means if i will say a few things to aslam they start crying okay so it means they are more sensitive if it is more sensitive like uh, some like uh, some other children like some other student which are not a sensitive means uh, i am saying the more words to that children and they are saying usse koi fark nahi padta that means they are the more sensitive and the less sensitive we are having these kind of categories in the students but here in the terms of the like uh, instruments how we will define the sensitivity this is the deflection per current means uh, if uh, ma if i am giving the small current okay i am giving the small current to this device it is showing the maximum deflection okay first it is the zero and then it is showing the five value when i am giving the small value of current it is showing the high deflection okay it is showing the high deflection that means this instrument is the more sensitive this instrument is the more sensitive means if i am giving the small input and it is showing the larger output okay means i am giving the small current and it is showing the high deflection that means this instrument is the more sensitive okay and if i am giving the more current okay i am giving the more current and uh, it is showing the small deflection okay so it means this is the less sensitive okay less sensitive 
instrument. We are having a two type of instrument. More sensitive means we are giving the small current and it is showing the high deflection. That means it is the more sensitive instrument. But if I am giving the more current and small deflection is there, that means this is the less sensitive instrument. We require an instrument which is the more sensitive because it is showing the high deflection when we are giving the small value of current to them. Okay. So this is the today's topic. And uh, in the next, uh, like a uh, lecture, we will start the Kelvin bridge beta. Okay. So this is clear to everyone or not? Topic. Today's topic is clear to everyone.